Rugby wasn't that big in Kenya. All you had was soccer. Even me, as a, as a player, I used to play soccer before I joined rugby. But I think now it has, it has really developed. It has gone down into the curriculum, even in schools, and also in the rural parts of, of the country. Kenya in team play has been very, has not been very successful. So I think rugby is one of the sports where it really excels and has put us on an international platform. Back at Independence time, hardly anyone has heard about rugby, except perhaps the European community. Uh, and now it is a national sport. First of all, rugby originally, there was a lot of concentration in Nairobi. But then we've come out and uh, spread the game uh, outside Nairobi. And uh, currently, actually, Western Kenya has actually shown a lot of potential because really that is the area where a lot of our people genetically have got the physique that really is necessary for the game. Kenya 7's growth in rugby has been huge over the past 10 years. Uh, originally, Benjamin Ayimba was coach here, uh, followed by Mike Friday, uh, followed now by Paul True, who have been driving forward the possibility of Kenya winning an Olympic medal. You come to a country like Kenya and you, you think, well, it's a new, new sport to them, new sport to the kids, and you know, they've all got the skills, the basic skills they need, and you know, as we know, Kenyans are natural athletes, so looking good for them. All countries around the world have different things that they're good at. In Kenya, the real obvious thing is just how well they move. Um, the technical side of the game, the very best players have all got that. But the one thing you can't teach is running and moving and balancing and swerving and all of those abilities that are so well known for the Oscar Rumors, the Andrew Amondes, the Collins and Jiras, uh, the Humphrey Kayanges, and we've seen the young ones of those. Do you all want to play? Do you guys want to play? Uh, yeah. <laughs> with the guys playing in the circuit over, over the last six or so years and uh, getting good results out there. It's really brought uh, a lot of young kids to want to play rugby at an early age. The pool of rugby talent in Kenya is mainly in schools and uh, high schools and universities. So the fact that it's growing in Kenya emanates from the fact that it's growing at the universities and the schools. Talent is there, but we have to make sure that we develop it. So long-term development for us is good. Uh, not just rugby, but academic, because uh, we know that we're going to be uh, bigger in life. Just not in sport, but they can do something after their athletic career. Rugby has given me so many, so many, many opportunities. Like, and I've met so many, many people that I wouldn't have met if I was doing something different. We got a couple of kids who came in from Kakamega, had never been to Nairobi before, or on a plane to China playing in the Olympics. You know, just like that. So it just seemed to be the best platform for a lot of the kids around to, to actually, they feel that that's where they could get the next breakthrough. Kenya is a different environment to what people might see in the UK, France, New Zealand, Australia. You don't suddenly see a new club that started and three years later competing for national championships. Kenya, for a very special way, has the opportunities to do that and be driven by uh, clubs in the most old-fashioned way that they used to be in England, perhaps probably 50, 60 years ago before professionalism came. What we do, we basically nurture talent from the community rugby. We have a rice, we have a Ngong, Burbul, Matasia, uh, and Runda. These are clubs that are basically in the slums. Uh, CRA gives a new chance and a lift to players who are in the community, uh, which maybe they would not have gotten a chance, like those boys and girls who are in the suburbs, and they get an upper hand to play rugby. Of course, the obvious thing is, is money. That is, of course, always difficult to raise. Luckily, we have got some sponsors, but it's, it's a sweat to get that sort of money. There are so many clubs that apply to be under the CRA, but we tell them, no, we have limited funds. If we get a good financial support, we, we are talking of a thousand plus players and uh, many clubs that are developing rugby. A lot more structures coming in place, especially with the union, and that's where it all stems from. They have structures to actually feed the system, you know, 
get enough preparation to monitor games, run training programs, uh, coaches. That's all that needs to be put in place for, for the, the sport team to evolve. We're seeing people being paid, we're seeing people are getting deals for jobs and schools as well. So yeah, it is, it is a good game and it's giving people opportunities. A lot of people are recognising rugby as one of, those, one of our big sports. So in terms of opportunity opening up, it, it, it will be good in the, in the long run, but we, we just need to get I mean, the young kids starting playing uh, rugby at an early age. The biggest one must be the conditioning and uh, the attention to detail from the coaching and most likely how you want to manage the squads. That is the biggest thing that we have at the moment. It's more commercialized, there's more exposure because now we're playing in the best leagues in the world. There's going to be of course more government involvement, there's going to be more corporate uh, uh, organizations trying to get involved. Yeah, so we are seeing uh, a lot of growth in that direction. It's something that we just have to groom and make more of this so we make it an industry of pulling uh, people out to get this opportunity of actually expressing yourself in the, in the field and make uh, a living out of rugby. We've seen the, the, the growth of the sport and we've seen the kind of results we're getting. And so I think we just continue push and uh, a lot of dedication, we will get there. And it's not, it's not, it's not unfeasible, it's very feasible in the shortest time possible.